Now you ain't looking at some dude that was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. And I might seem like some kind of low life to that highfalutin crowd. But I'm plain spoken, straight talking, and damn proud of what I have accomplished. Okay, guys, tonight I'm getting ready to uh, install a few things uh, for the last time. So, what I'm using here is some. Uh, some butyl rubber, uh, they've got butyl tape. Um, this is the stuff you want to use for sealing up your camper. Um, it's never going to get hard, it's always going to stay flexible. Um, this is the best stuff to use. Um, I've got it in this, this caulk thing, I'm going to use my caulk gun to do it. Um, I'm going to install a new one of these on the door for the um, the power cord, not the power cord to power the camper, but the, the light cord that you plug into your pickup. Um, there's the, this is the door that I'm using, I'm reusing that. You don't see it, so it ain't a big deal. Uh, this thing's broken, this is why the bees could get in, because the doors broke off and they just go right in there. Um, you're supposed to be able to seal this. Um, also, this lock is broken, or I don't have the key, so... Uh, we're going to get that, we're going to change that out. Right now it's uh, drying because I just kind of washed it off. Um, this is the new piece. You can see it's got a door. Um, you can close it, slide your power cord through it while you're going down the road. And it's somewhat sealed. It's not completely sealed, but it's sealed better than, than nothing. Uh, you can open it up, slide your cord back in there. Um, close that, close this, and uh, nothing's gonna get in there. Is it completely sealed? No, it's not 100% sealed, but nothing's gonna get in there. I don't even think an ant would be able to fit through uh, the, the crack there. So we're gonna get that taken care of. Another thing I'm gonna get taken care of tonight, I'm gonna install my antenna for the last time. Uh, this is the base. Actually, this is for, I believe, um, if you're bolting this to um, a hard surface or a metal surface, uh, this is the back side that came with um, bolts. I can't, I don't know what to do with the package, but it came with bolts. I'm going to screw it into wood, so I got some wood screws here. Because um, I'm going into a piece of plywood that I, that I made back there. So we're going to get this stuff uh, installed using the uh, butyl rubber. Okay, so here's my antenna. It's a stainless one. Um, it mounts with three holes. I've already got them drilled out. There's a piece of plywood I have back there. So this is not gonna just go into these, this aluminum here. Um, I'm gonna take my butyl caulk and I'm gonna run around here, get a nice good seal, and uh, screw this down in there. Um, you do not want any water leakage getting past this stuff, so probably dip my screws in that butyl caulk before I put them in there, kind of seal that up too. So uh, this is a, this is actually a self-grounding uh, antenna. I believe you need that for uh, something like this where you're not actually screwing into steel. I know I'm screwing into aluminum, but this aluminum siding um, isn't grounded to anything, I don't believe, so um, I don't think that would work as a ground. And there we go, all screwed on. I think I got a good seal. Um, I may have to put one of those deals on here that uh, keeps it from flopping and hitting the, hitting the siding. I've seen them on campers before, but uh, that's screwed on. Now let's go to uh, that door. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is replace the lock on this thing. I'm going to pull the lock out. Um, all you got to do is unscrew this here. And then you're going to have to unscrew that. Take your, uh, your latch off and uh, the lock will come out. Okay, with the old lock removed, 
Um, I'm gonna get this off. You can see it's riveted on. I'll have to drill these rivets out, and then I gotta see if I even have new rivets for the new one, but uh, we'll see here. Okay, so I just uh, finished drilling my rivets out and got this old piece off. Um, <clears throat> what happened was they started spinning on me, the rivets, so they wouldn't drill out. So um, what, what, do you, what you do then is I just got my screwdriver and I kind of pried behind it to kind of uh, put tension on that rivet. The rivet stopped turning and I was able to, to drill it out. Um, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get these rivets out. The, the other, or the, the part um, that actually holds the, the rivet there, we're not going to be able to get them out because this door is actually insulated with styrofoam, looks like. So there's really no way to get that out unless we start digging out the styrofoam and I don't want to do that. So we're just going to leave them in there, we'll drill new holes, we'll rivet our piece uh, in a different location. Um, one other thing that I'm um, not real happy about is this is bigger than that one. So I'm going to have to enlarge this hole a little bit. Um, to get this to go through, which I didn't really want to do, but I guess I'm going to have to do uh, if I want to get this done tonight. So I got to find something to cut this. I kind of marked what I needed to do to open it up. So I'm going to try to find something here to cut this. And uh... Okay, so I was able to enlarge this hole. Um, I just used a jigsaw with a fine blade on it. Seemed to cut that aluminum very easily. Um, so the, it's now big enough, this fits in there. Um, so now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna attach this um, to there. They used uh, rivets on the original one. Um, I've got some uh, quarter, I don't know, maybe this, is, maybe this is eighth inch rivets. Thought they were quarter inch rivets. Um, I'm gonna give that a try. Um, I marked my holes here, I'm gonna drill it out, um, and then I'm gonna try to uh, put my rivets in there. Yeah, it looks like that's probably what they used. I'm gonna give this a try and uh, we'll see what happens here. Okay, new doors on, rivets worked good. You see the stuff is kind of gushing out, which is good. Means we got a good seal. I'll trim that off later, um, clean it up. Um, next up, put my new lock in. Um, as easy as just sliding it in there and uh, tightening it down and I'll show you once I get her done here. Okay, door is ready to go back on. Everything's sealed up, new locks. Um, what I had to do here is I used the old striker, had to kind of bend it because the new strikers that they gave, none of them would work. Um, they worked, but they weren't really tight. so. I just kind of bent this in a little bit, the original one. Um, got her on there. Don't go too crazy on your lock um, tightening there. It's only aluminum here, two aluminum skins with styrofoam. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these out. Uh, I don't really like these being in the way, so I'm probably just going to take my uh, Dremel and just kind of go around that and cut that out just so it's a straight open hole. Uh, these things just kind of annoy me. Having to push the plug up through there is going to really be troublesome, I think. So I'm going to cut. Okay, so there we go. Got it wide open here. Dremel, just run around there, cut them off. I'm happy with that. Ready to get this thing hung up on the camper. Okay, so I got the door back up in there. That was a complete nightmare. Um, Probably not going to use this, this butyl caulk um, for uh, stuff like this. Um, I'm going to order the butyl tape. Um, I thought I could work with this stuff. This is actually the only stuff I could find locally. Um, i got to put the piece of trim that goes in here that hides the screw holes. But uh, other than that, it's done. It's in. Um, you can see how this works now. There's your power cord, and then you got your... Um, it's not a power cord, it's the light cord for towing. Um, 
you uh, run your cord through here, you run it out, plug it into your truck. Um, that way you don't have a big um, hole for uh, stuff to get up in there. So um, I'm happy it turned out okay, it uh, works okay. I'm not happy with that butyl cock. Um, it's fine for, you know, a small light or something. Uh, it's, it's difficult to squeeze out. My hand hurts trying to squeeze this stuff out of the tube. So uh, basically, I guess this is going to be used for small jobs, lights, um, just small things. And then I would not, I would not use this upside down because it's a stringy. It really gets stringy and then it makes a mess. I wouldn't work with this upside down like I did just did. Um, but uh, yeah, I got to order some some butyl tape. I think that's gonna work better for all the doors and the windows and everything. Um, so this was kind of kind of a failure, but uh, live and learn, I guess. Okay, one more thing under here. I uh, got my new light installed. I ain't got it sealed up, but it's installed. It's an LED replacement. Of uh, what was up there? I guess that's for the for the baggage doors or um, or hooking up. I'm thinking it's more for the baggage doors than anything. I can actually shut this one on and off uh, from here, or I can do it. Uh, I can shut it off from uh, inside the camp or two for some reason, but. Uh, Pretty happy with that. Didn't pay a whole lot for these, but they're LED and they're nice. They put off quite a bit of light. I mean, you can see. Should be a nice, uh, nice upgrade from what was under there. Um, so I guess uh, that's it, guys, for this video. Uh, I'm going to keep on moving along here. Oh, uh, another thing I did. Um, I did put some storage in here. I made myself a little box. Um, I'll show a picture of it. I took a picture of it before I stuck it up in there. But uh, uh, there'll be a there'll be a a 10 by 30 inch door. I'm waiting on that. But uh, it's uh, this is a this is a 10 inch opening here. So it's going to be from 30 inches down. I don't know where that is. Somewhere around here, I think. So I'll just have to take out my insulation. I'll have to move this stud over there. We'll get my door in. No problem. But it's nice, nice uh, little storage here. I got to insulate the bottom yet. Yeah, I insulated the sides. I got insulation in the there. But uh, it's a pretty decent size storage. You know, it'll hold some. Uh, some blocks for the stabilizers back there, maybe even some chocks for the wheels or something. So um, I couldn't stand leaving that and not using that for storage. So um, I made the time, made a quick little box, pretty much the same as I did over here. That's why this is off, because I was copying this. Completely sealed. Um, nothing's gonna get in it. I put a two by four there in the frame and everything. I'll eventually have to caulk all this. So, uh, but uh, yeah, that's what I did. Got my fender flares on there, and you can see how that's gonna work. Uh, I'm gonna need another support. In the middle there because it's just a little too floppy so I'll have to put something back there but uh, it's coming along a few more things crossed off the list so I guess I'll see you guys in the next one